Geothermal energy is very promising to generate power and reduce carbon emission. You may have seen hot springs, which are a typical example of geothermal energy. Although hot springs are wonderful for relaxing or therapeutic purposes, usually they are not sufficient to generate power. To generate power, we have to go deeper, to thousands of meters where the rock is very hot and dry. For hot springs, we can directly withdraw hot water from underground. But for the hot, dry rock, how can we exploit such an energy because there's no water at all? Imagine this. We can drill an injection well and pump in high-pressure water to fracture the rock. The cool water then flows within the fracture network, absorbs heat from the rock, and then becomes hot water. The hot water is collected by production well to generate power. In such a way, we actually create an artificial reservoir, which is called the Enhanced Geothermal System, EGS for short. EGS holds a huge potential to generate power, but two major challenges arise. Challenge number one, three factors, namely temperature, water pressure, and insecture stress, are involved in EGS, and the three factors are interconnected with each other. In other words, we are facing a multi-physics system but the knowledge of such a system is very limited. Challenge number two, EGS is buried deep underground, which is invisible. All we can get are some monitoring and testing data from the field and the laboratory. How can we use the limited data to interpret what's going on in the reservoir? Imagine this. If we have a digital twin of the reservoir, we can develop sophisticated algorithms to simulate the evolution of temperature, water pressure, and in situ stress. We can then use the data from the field and the laboratory to calibrate the digital model. Because everything can be visualized through the digital model, we can use the digital model to interpret what happens in the reservoir. My research is to develop such a sophisticated digital model in high fidelity to the EGS reservoir so we can understand the reservoir as much as possible with limited input data. My research indicates that EGS reservoir can support a power plant for 20 to 30 years with a temperature decrease controlled below 10 degrees C. The long duration and the minor temperature decrease imply that the commercialization of EGS is possible. This opens a new door for the geothermal industry. To sum up, Digital Twin will be a powerful tool to help us harness geothermal energy. Thanks a lot for watching.